The Vancouver Whitecaps come to town tomorrow, and they will meet an injury-battered Loons roster. That roster though, is made of pure grit and the starting 11 tomorrow will do everything in their power to end the match with 3 points. Christian Ramirez is officially declared out, while Abu Dan Lotti remains questionable along with, while France Pangop. Ramirez is a huge loss for the squad while Pangop and Dan Lotti remain the only attacking depth who have been in a Loon's uniform for more than two weeks. We now presume that due to the departure of Sam Nicholson this past week, Dan Lotti and or Pangop will get minutes and they will persevere through injury while rookie Mason Toy will get the nod up top. The rookie could get his first start as a Loon after playing 60 minutes last week, the most he has ever played in his short professional career. This could be a massive test for the 19-year-old and his professionalism and work ethic could be displayed on full in front of 20,000-plus on Saturday. The Athletic reporter, Jeff Reuter, who covers Minnesota United on a weekly basis, put out a lineup on Twitter that I tend to agree with for a presumed starting 11 tomorrow. Here's my best guess for how. Loon's looking threadbare in attack. At twitter.com slash x3 verkooked, Jeff Reuter, at Jeff Reuter, May 4, 2018 Bobby Shuttleworth will man between the sticks after two solid matches in net, and the back line should stay the same as last week, with a presumed assumption that newly acquired fullback, Eric Miller, will be on the bench. Colin Martin has had a very lackluster 2018 season, but he looked really good in his 2018 debut this past weekend at home against Houston. The midfielder could feature at the six position beneath midfielders Ibsen and Rasmus Schuler with a second option also being the infamous Maximiano, who we have yet to see in 2018 play. Miguel Ibarra has nailed down a starting spot for the Loons after a great run of matches over the month of April. He will be paired with Darwin Quintero on the wings while Mason Toy will feature up top. Another possible lineup that Adrian Heath could roll out with on Saturday would be his classic 4-2-3-1. The lineup would only require slight changes, with Alexi Gomez taking the spot of Colin Martin and moving that spot to the left wing where Ibarra would then slide to the middle and play above Schuler and Ibsen while beneath Toy. I personally see it as too soon for Gomez to start for Minnesota, it doesn't feel like he has had the time to adapt to play here, but with Adrian Heath, you never know. The opposition this weekend will be without star attacker Christian Tequera, who is suspended after receiving a red card last weekend. Vancouver also lists striker K. Kamara as doubtful with an adductor strain, which could be a huge plus for our struggling defense. The Whitecaps will look to add a third away win to their resume this weekend, and they will be led by teenage sensation, Alfonso Davies. The young Canadian will be a handful in the box as well as the midfield, Ibsen and Schuler will have their hands full with his size and pace. From a fan perspective, I expect nothing less than three points. From a professional perspective, I expect nothing less than three points. We are at home in front of a loving fan base who will be screaming their heads off for 90 minutes. The squad needs to take the energy from the fans and use it to their advantage while catching Vancouver off guard early on. We need to continue the hot streak, boil confidence into the veins of these players and finish games out. We need to start with ambition at the beginning of the match, not at the beginning of the second half. I am open-minded going into this, but with caution, what Minnesota United will show up? The first or second half team from last week? It is almost match day folks, come on you loon.